Let's build this awesome red Lego pickup truck that is scaled for minifigures. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's start with a 2x16 plate. Now, let's take two 2x2 two two bearing plates. Set these on one end of the 2x16, followed by a 1x4 plate. A six by six plate. A one by six plate. A one by four plate. Now let's set down two two by two bearing plates. Let's place this two by four right here, followed by a one by four ball receiver plate. Now let's skip four studs, place down a 1x4 plate right here on top of the 6x6 plate. Now on this side of the 1x4 flat tile, let's set down four 1x2 plates with one knob or jumper plates. We're going to use these to attach the seats inside the cab. Let's build up the second layer, starting on the left-hand side with two 2x4 two plates. This will lock in the bearing plates secure. Now I want to take two 1x2 one plates with slide. Let's place these two on top, where they are lined up with the jumper plates. And let's place two more 1x2 one plates with slide on the bottom. This chassis is a bit unstable. We're going to strengthen that up in a bit. Now, let's place a 1x4 plate right next to the jumper plates. Let's place a 1x3 plate on the top and a 1x3 plate on the bottom. The goal is, is to match the same color as the slide plates. Place a 1x2 plate on the top portion and one on the bottom portion. Now let's lock this together with a pair of 1x6 plates. Now place a 1x2 plate right above the bearing assembly and another one on the other side on top of the bearing assembly. This is going to be used to offset our mud guards a 1x6 plate and a 1x2 plate right above the ball receiver. Now I want to work on the rear bumper so we're going to take a pair of 1x2 by 1x2 angler plates place one on the left and one on the right hand side. Now let's flip the chassis over. I want to match the same color as I did on the bottom, so we're going to set down two 1x2 two plates to secure everything together. And finally, two 1x2 two ingots. Place them on the back of the angular plates for our rear bumper. This will give it some added texture. Now note where we have the 1x4 flat tile. We're going to skip a stud on this side and we're going to place a 1x4 plate right here. We're going to start assembling the dashboard and the steering column. Let's take a 1x2 brick with two knobs. Let's place two 1x1 one one slopes on the face of the knobs. Make sure everything is lined up. Let's crown off the top with a 1x2 plate with slide, like so. Place this on the top portion of the 1x4 plate. Now let's take a 1x2 plate rocker bearing and plate assembly. Let's place another 1x2 jumper plate on the top. Then let's crown it off with a 2x2 steering wheel console. Let's set it right in this area. 
on top of the bottom portion of the 1x4 plate. This will give us a tilt wheel. Now, let's take a 2x2 two two modified brick that has a screen or mud guard. Let's place one on the left and one on the right hand side. Well, let's place a 1x2 brick with two knobs on the front so we can attach our front bumper and grill that we'll be assembling in a moment or two. Let's take two 1x4 flat tiles, set them in this area for the bottom of the bed. Now take two 2x2 two two plate with one knob or jumper plate, place them right above the axle. This is going to be used for an optional rear towing package and a 1x4 flat tile on the right hand side. Let's take two more 2x2 two two brick with mud guard or screen, place them right above the bearing assembly. Now in these areas along the mud guards, let's set down a few 1x1 one one bricks. You will need four in total to fill in these areas. And to finish off these portions, take two 1x4 plate with bow. Give it a nice rounded finish. Now let's start constructing the body. Let's take two 1x2 inverted 45 degree slopes. Let's place them right in this area. We're going to work our way back, so let's grab two 1x3 bricks, place them along the sides of the jumper plates. Set down two 1x2x2 two two corner bricks right here, followed by 1x2 brick in this area. Now, let's continue on with two more 1x2 45 degree inverted slope bricks right here. So we can wrap around the mud guards. Two more 1x2 inverted 45 degree slope bricks right here. Now, let's place a 1x4 brick right above the hitch assembly. Now in these two areas I want to add brake lights, so let's take a 1x1 one one angular brick and a 1x1 one one transparent red flat tile, place the tile on the face of the angular brick and set this on the left hand side. Let's do the same on the right hand side with another angular brick and a 1x1 one one transparent red flat tile for the right hand side. And we have some nice brake lights. Let's set down a 1x10 plate right on the bottom where we are right next to the mud guard. Let's do the same thing on the top portion with another 1x10 plate. Now set down a 1x4 plate right here. In this area we're going to set down a pair of 1x3 plates and a 1x6 plate on the back to strengthen up the rear as well as to lock in the lights. Now let's lock everything together and smooth it off with some flat tiles. Let's start with a 1x4 flat tile right there followed by a pair of 1x8 flat tiles. This will make the back of the pickup Nice and finished off. It doesn't look so tacky with all those studs. Now let's place some seats inside the cab with two 2x2x2 two by two by two seats. Place them on the back of the studs. On this side, let's place a 1x6 brick right behind the seats. Let's finish off these two areas with a pair of 1x3 flat tiles. Let's add ourselves a driver's side side mirror 
take a one by one plate with lamp holder and a one by one round flat tile. Place the tile on this portion of the lamp holder. Set it right by the steering wheel. Same with the passenger side with another one by one plate with lamp holder and a one by one round flat tile. Place it in this area. Now let's crown off these two portions with a set of one by one plates. Let's work on the back portion of the cab. Grab two one by two transparent wall elements, place them in as shown. Let's fill in both of the sides with a set of one by one bricks. Let's lock it together with a one by six plate. Now, place two one by two plate with slide. These are going to be used to hold the top of the cab. Let's finish off the top with a one by four flat tile and two one by one slopes on the sides. Let's go ahead and attach the windshield. So let's set down a two by six by two windscreen. That is transparent clear. Now let's finish off the top of the cab with a four by six by two thirds plate or hood. See those plates underneath are keeping this from falling in. Very sturdy. Let's begin the construction of the front bumper and grill starting with a pair of 2 by 2 by 2 thirds plate with two knobs. Let's set these side by side as shown. Let's lock them together with a 1 by 4 plate. Let's place a 1 by 6 plate on the bottom portion right on top of the 1 by 4 plate and a 1 by 2 plate on the top. On both sides of the 1 by 2 plate, let's set down two transparent orange 1 by 2 plates. These are going to be our turn signals. Let's lock all this together with a 2 by 4 plate and let's fill in these two areas with a set of 1 by 1 plates. I want to match the color for the bumper so it looks like it's wrapping around the vehicle. Now, place a 1 by 4 plate right on the bottom and two radiator grills on the top. Now set down two transparent clear 1 by 1 slopes for headlights. These run on top of the 1 by 2 transparent orange plates. Place a 1 by 4 flat tile and two 1 by 1 slopes on both ends to finish up the contour of the bumper. Let's flip the assembly over. Now I want to place some plates in the back to cover up a hole right next to the mud guard. So let's place a set of one by one plates. Now let's slide in the front bumper and grill and attach it to the one by two brick with two knobs. See, we covered up the holes on the sides. Now I want to lock everything together with a pair of two by three plates. Let's hide all this ugly mess with a 4x6x2 by by thirds plate or hood. Now I want to add some windshield wipers to this vehicle, so I'm going to take two small aerials. We're going to place them on top. Now don't place them down all the way because we're going to need to turn these slightly to where we're just touching the bottom portion of the windshield. Then we can press down. Let's do the same thing for the other windshield wiper. Just barely tack it down, turn it, position it just right, and then press down firm.
Now we need some tires on this vehicle. Let's grab a wide rim and a large balloon tire. Set the tire onto the rim. We're going to need to make four of these in total. I already have a bunch prepared in advance. I'm just going to simply seat these on the bearing plate. That is if I can get the tires on. Don't you wish changing tires was this easy? I don't think we're going to be able to drive this very well with just a few tires. We need to put all four on there. And there we have it. It does roll smooth on a flat surface. Let's see how well Jay the Surfer fits in the vehicle. Now you can't set two figures side by side. It's pretty much only a one-seater. As you can see, it does fit inside. And the top of the cab does fit. So even with this spiky hair, you can still sit inside the cab comfortably. It is a nice vehicle. It can be customized to your liking. You can even change the color up or the design if you wish. If you like this video, be sure to comment your thoughts and click that like button. To show your appreciation, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of my latest LEGO video content. Check out my other LEGO related videos and visit my social media. Thank you for watching.